It's been a long time, long time. We shouldn't have left you, left you. Without a dope beat, step two, step two. Yo, what is up? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Carlos Harris, and as you guys can see by the title, today we're getting tatted. Um, where we're getting tatted, you'll find out later in the video. But um, I want to start off the video by sharing this um, this thing that my dad sent me: ten things money can't buy. And I just want to give myself kudos. I'm, I'm vlogging with my left hand right now, and I'm kind of feeling this because I'm using like the right hand with it. But I'm liking I'm liking this little angle. Ten things money can't buy. Manners, morals, respect, character, common sense, trust, patience, class, integrity, and love. So those are 10 things money can't buy. And I wanna relate this back to the, um, the point I was making in my last video of like, money's not gonna solve your problems and it's not gonna solve any of these problems where you might fall short. It's something that you gotta work on every single day within yourself and tying in another thing that I said, giving yourself grace because yeah, you're gonna be able to, to work on these things, but sometimes you're gonna have some fuck ups and you're gonna take a step backwards, but just keep making sure that you take steps forward in all of these areas. Again, manners, morals, respect, character, common sense, trust, patience, class, integrity, and love. So focus on those things. Just wanna share that with you guys because I always wanna have some type of like positive message and stuff inside of my blogs. That way it's not just like you just seeing like the great parts of my life and it's just kind of like a highlight reel or whatever it is. That's why I love like long form content because I can bring you guys along with me during my day and you can just see like basically everything I do. And I gotta switch back to my right hand because my left just, it just ain't as strong as my right. So uh, kudos to me for trying that out. And um, another thing too, I was talking to my friend Jeremiah early this morning and we had a good conversation. And, and one of the points that we brought up is something I wanna talk about in this message that I wanted to say is why it's hard for people to stay motivated. It's hard for people to stay motivated because people are so like used to staying in comfortable situations. Everybody goes back to a comfort zone at the end of the day when they feel threatened, whatever it is, you go back to a comfort zone or a safe place. A lot of people don't wanna get uncomfortable and they can't stay motivated because they allow themselves to keep going back to that comfort zone instead of pushing yourself a little bit further and getting uncomfortable and growth happens in every single uncomfortable situation that I've been in personally, I've grown from it. Whether it was like sleeping on my sister's couch, being very uncomfortable with that because I just felt like, I felt like less of a person because I couldn't get anything on my own. And it was just very uncomfortable for me to accept that. But at the same time, I pushed myself to one, get a, get a job that was better than the one that I had. And then from there, I quit my job when I basically had $2,000 to my name and put myself in a very uncomfortable situation. And it ultimately propelled me to the next level. So it's hard for people to stay motivated because they'll get to this level of uncomfort and then they'll just revert back to their comfort zone. And it'll just continuously be the same cycle for you over and over and over again. But if you wanna see growth in your life, you're really gonna to have to get uncomfortable. I know that's like, it's easy to say, but whatever it is you wanna do in life, if you wanna be the, the best artist, the best um, you know person in the company, make the most sales, whatever it is, you gotta get uncomfortable. So keep that in mind um, on a daily basis is sometimes you're gonna to have to get uncomfortable. But this is an extreme late start to the day. I still need to go to the gym. But this is a very chill day. Um, I'm gonna be working from home and then we're gonna go, be go going to get a tattoo with uh, Jeremiah, Silas, and uh, Justin. So uh, yeah, that's, I never even noticed that so it's like two J's, two C's. So yeah, anyways, yeah, we're gonna go do that. So I'm gonna make my way to the gym and then I'll tap in with you guys after I go to the gym, eat and do my yoga. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. Thank you guys for 150,000 subscribers. I really appreciate it. Goal is to get to 200K, maybe in the next like month to two months, depending on how these vlogs do. They've been doing pretty well. Like my last vlog, performing great. Really appreciate the love on those. I'm trying to pump out at least one to two a week and we're gonna keep that consistently going um, because 
I don't want to just be posting just to post. I want to have stuff that I'm doing and stuff that's going to motivate people to keep going in life. So yeah, I just wanted to take a little brief, brief second to say thank you um, for all the love and support that you guys show. And we're growing on Instagram too. I think I'm at like 685,000. Trying to get to a million this year and we'll see how that works. Try again. You can dust it off and try again, try again. All right, I'm back from the gym. Um, I did back and biceps, and if you guys are interested in the app that I use, it's called Shred. It's linked below. It's got a whole bunch of different workouts on here. I've been using this for probably like four or five years now. I love it. Um, and then they have like a year long subscription. I think it's just like a hundred bucks, whatever it is. But yeah, it's linked down below in the description. If you guys want to check that out, they got a whole bunch of different like workouts. You can do just body weight. You can do cross shred. You can do tone, bulk, whatever it is. Um, I've always found really good results from it. And if you only got like 20, 30 minutes or just a short workout, they literally got time frames um, of what you can do on there. So again, it's already like five o'clock or something like that. Cause you know, I've just been chilling all day, going through the day and um, just having a peaceful day, still getting work done. But I wanted to talk about this tattoo. So my daughter's name is Leia and Leia means heavenly flower. So I want to incorporate her name within a flower. So I've been doing my research and finding a couple of like inspirations and ideas and stuff that I want to go with. I was going to use like generative AI on um, Adobe Express which it came up with some cool concepts, which I'm gonna show you guys here in a second. Uh, if I can pull up these downloads. All right, yeah, I'll pull up this one, which was cool because I wanna incorporate like flowers within like a L or within like the entire thing, but I ended up going with this, which is what I'm gonna show you and um, kind of walk you guys through it. So right here is kind of what I was looking into doing is like having like an L, which is obviously is an L. I typed in an I as the prompt and having a flower implemented into it. And I was like, ah, you know, it might look good, but I feel like it would take away from like full text like this if you have like an L with the flowers in it and then the rest of the text being something completely different. So what I saw was this, which it incorporates a flower, but it also incorporates the name right there. And I really like that it has the, um, the leaf right here or whatever that's called um, attached to the rose and then the name going down it. So I saw this text right here and this one kind of really stuck out to me. I'm obviously going to get with the artist and see, um, you know, what fits best on the area that I'm going to get it. But this is what I like settled on is just having that rose right there and then her name going down it. I really like that concept of um, being able to do that. And uh, one thing that I haven't really spoke about much because I don't really talk about my tattoos too often, but majority of my tattoos are family related from like my chest, my arm, um, it's my um, sisters, my mom, my dad, my dad's army division, um, my hometown is like on my shoulder. One of my favorite quotes that my dad um, had my on my door uh, basically when I was a kid and then fight him till hell freezes over, then fight him on ice. It's just like motivational things. This is uh, one of the companies that I started, Nep Studios. And then I got this baby Milo tattoo and my dad got the um, bathing ape tattoo. So it's like a father son tattoo because those are like father son things within a brand. So all my tattoos um, have a lot of meaning. I also have like a tattoo on the back of my neck. I don't know if you guys can see that, but it's the same, it's the same thing that's on my canvas, consistency and persistence breed success. And that's um, like a phrase I came up with maybe like a few years ago, decided to get that tattooed on the back of my neck. Now, as you can see, left side of my body, it only has like the 1993 on there, which established 1993, my first tattoo. And then it has John 316 on my ribs. Um, I saved the left side of my body for my kids and um, you know, like my future family. That was something that I thought about way back when I started first getting like tattoos. And I got my first tattoo when I was like 16 or 17. I was I had a full sleeve in high school. Um, but yeah, that's something I really thought about. So it's gonna be, um, exciting to start this other side of my body and um, it's going to be cool to start off with my daughter and hopefully future kids 
um, and stuff like that and just start incorporating a lot of different things because I want to get a, a, um, a tattoo for my grandmother. Uh, if you guys don't know, like my grandma passed away, uh, but I always keep her picture next to like my laptop. And I also have like another like little thing in my office too that I keep next to like my desk setup or whatever it is, just as a constant reminder uh, of my grandma. She's a very great person. Um, and she she definitely motivated me in a lot of ways in my life. And she she helped me in ways that I didn't even know she was gonna be able to help when I first started like blogging. And that's, if you guys wanna see more on that, of how I started blogging and stuff, you can go watch the pin video on my YouTube. But that's the ideas that I have for my tattoos. Um, and I wanna keep incorporating more and more. This artist I've never worked with, um, Jeremiah. Uh, I think Jeremiah's gotten multiple tattoos from him. Majority of my tattoos are from Kevin. Um, and I've been going to Kevin again ever since I was in like high school and stuff like that. And um, unfortunately, he doesn't live out here anymore. He lives, I think he lives in Dallas now. But whenever I'm in Dallas, I'll make sure to hit him up because I definitely want to get a, a piece from my grandmother. But that's the ideas that I have. Um, also want to touch on, I just got another YouTube deal. Um, it's with a electrolyte company, but it's for a YouTube short. And again, I, I'm always going to be transparent with you guys so you guys can understand. Uh, just for a YouTube short, I think, yeah, I got $3,000 is what the, the offer was. So I was able to pull that in. It took them a while to actually get back to me. We've been, let's see, we've been talking since February 2nd. They first offered me like 2,000 and I was just like, ah, I'd be open to doing the opportunity if we could meet at like 3,000. Cause YouTube shorts, like it's cool, but I still gotta go create the content. And you know, typically if it's gonna go on Instagram or something like that, it's gonna be like 20, 30 bands. But YouTube shorts is what it is. They came back, they're ready to move forward with the offer um, and we're gonna be able to do that. So I got Flexi Spot, which is the desk and stuff that you guys see um, right here. They're coming out with a chair that I'm gonna be integrating on my actual channel. And then uh, we got this YouTube short that we're gonna be doing. And I think Grove Made just reached out to me. I've used Grove Made products um, in the past, but they just gifted it. But um, it's been cool. You know, YouTube's kind of picking up. I'm enjoying it because honestly, it's easier than short form. Short form's like, I'm not gonna say it's like easier than short form. Short form just becomes like boring after a while because Everyone kind of just does the same thing. Once they see something like popular, everyone just duplicates it. Nobody can duplicate your personality and just like the stuff you have going on in life. So I really enjoy YouTube. Um, I'm gonna continuously get on here and hopefully serve you guys some value, give you guys some more insight on my life. But yeah, I'm gonna jump in the shower because um, I don't want to be the last person there, but it's looking like I probably am gonna be. And my boy Silas, man, man's hit us at the last minute and said, bro, I'm not gonna be able to make it. Crushed our hearts. But I'm gonna go in here, um, get dressed, shower real quick, and then I'll check in with you guys in the car because I got something I want to talk about. Oh yeah, I totally forgot. I have tattoos on my leg. Your habits will become your destiny, which was what was on the back of my shirt that I was working out with. So that's another thing that's on my canvas. And then on my calf, I have my logo. I totally forgot about these tattoos. But yeah, these are my leg tattoos to go in combination with the stuff that I have up on my chest and arms. Oh yeah, so just wanna show this to you guys. This is the shower setup from the Creature of Habits. You got your um, face scrubber plus, back scrubber, um, body scrubber, and body scrubber plus right there. It's dope, dope little setup. You can get all parts of your bodies with this. And then we also got different colors and stuff right there. We also have like a little mirror setup, which I don't have up um, in this, but you guys can check that out on our website. It's linked down below, thecreatureofhabits.com. But this is perfect to pick up for yourself or your significant other. And we got unisex colors, just in case you guys wanna check it out. And like I said on uh, my other video, I use Method Soap because it lathers really well. So make sure that you have a soap that's not like a three-in-one or something like that. Um, it's not gonna lather well with silicone scrubbers. And the best thing about silicone scrubbers is they're not holding a whole bunch of bacteria like a loofah. And that's the reason why I really love these scrubbers. This is probably one of my favorites because I can scrub my back, get the areas that you don't typically get. And you can also use it as a foot scrubber because it's got the little hard bristles and stuff on the back. And obviously the softens on the front. And if you got a little bit more real estate to cover, you got the Body Scrubber Plus. And they all got handles on it. That way that you can make sure you hold on to that and then you can store them up here to dry. All right, quick little fit check. We got the Mercy hoodie on for my boyfriend, Cat Mercy. I showed y'all that on the last vlog. Down low, we got the John Elliott cargo pants right here, and then the red four Jordans on the wrist, GMT, root beer, and then rings, just a little simple Debbie Yearman and Cartier stack. 
But yeah, that's a little fit, some chill, some light. Again, I'm always gonna go all black, always. Cause it's simple, it's easy, plus it's gloomy outside. And then, I don't know if y'all know my necklaces, they're all from David Yerman as well, but most of the time you can't really see those in hoodies anyways. But yeah, we're about to head out um, because I didn't even know we were supposed to be there at 5.30. But I'm about to head over there and again, I'll check in when I get in the car. All right, we in the car. We headed to the tattoo shop. Boy, I'm low on energy. I had to grab a little ghost energy drink um, for the simple fact that I don't even have any Nespresso pods in my house, which I need to go over there on my day off. But I love having car talks with you guys. Today, I just wanted to talk about like, this is more centered towards like content creation and longevity. Understanding that if you're gonna be a content creator, which a lot of y'all might be striving to do, uh, for longevity, you have to understand that you have to bring value to your audience in whatever form that you want to do that, whether it's like financial advice, um, entrepreneurial advice, um, budgeting advice, whatever it is, you have to bring them value on a daily basis versus entertainment. Um, I've seen so many people get into content creation because like obviously there's a lot of cash and stuff in it, but people also have to realize that it is a full-time job where you constantly have to get better and better at the stuff that you're doing. And um, if you don't get better at it, people are gonna eventually just move on to somebody else and you're no longer gonna have paychecks and stuff coming in. So you constantly have to get better and better at what you do. Over the years, I've gotten better at either, I don't know why my music always does that. It's like it connects while I'm talking all the time. But over the years, I've gotten better and better at serving my um, audience value, which is why I've been able to grow a following on Instagram, TikTok, and then now here on YouTube. And that's not easy to do because all of your audience isn't gonna transfer over from each platform. Everybody likes to either be on one, maybe both TikTok and Instagram, but YouTube, it's more of like a connection um, with people. But if you're looking for longevity in this, you have to understand that you have to get better and better. It's just like with anything, you gotta sharpen your craft and you don't wanna be just a person who blows up at one point and then you can't grow and get better at something because you wanna stay in the same lane of, like I said earlier, in a comfort zone of not getting outside your comfort zone and trying something different. If I never would've tried like going into lifestyle content and actually showing like my daily life, cleaning up all the rest of that stuff, I don't know where I would be right now because streetwear was not fucking paying that much. Like I told y'all a long time ago, it was like two to $3,000 a post. And the way that I wanna live my life and how much this GMT cost and this car and this apartment, boy, it's just, it's not gonna work out. So if I wanna live the life that I wanna live, then I gotta be able to, to make some more money. And to make more money, I gotta expand and be able to appeal to different companies who got bigger budgets. So keep that in mind, if content creation is your thing, that longevity comes with more value that you bring to your audience. So study different things that you can learn about, whether it's current events, all of that shit, or teaching people how to be better at something. The more you can teach, the more they will pay. And the great thing about this long form content is, I don't need any sponsors to make money. I literally can just get on here and if you guys enjoy the value that I'm bringing in my vlogs, I get paid per view. And that's why I'm really focusing on YouTube more is because I know the value that I can bring to my audience. I 100% know because it works on short form. Long form obviously allows me to get more in depth on the things that I'm talking to you guys about. And I really appreciate everybody that likes my um, YouTube videos, subscribes to my channel, shares my video, tags me on Instagram, whatever it is. I really appreciate that because it makes me want to go harder on here to continuously like just do more and more and share more and more um, behind the scenes of what it is to grow your personal brand, grow a business, grow a family, all those little things that I'm, you know, progressively learning in life because I'm learning shit on the fly with y'all. I'm not no college graduate. I dropped out of college and decided to do things on my own terms. And if that's the life that you want to, you know, pursue, then, hey, go do it. It's totally possible. And if that's not the life that you want to pursue and you're okay doing the things that you do and you you like corporate or whatever, there's nothing wrong with that either. Um, just be the best at what you're doing in that field of work. So, yeah, that's the, the talk that I wanted to have as far as like based around content creation, but it's also just based around your life. 
continuously learn, continuously get better. If you work in a company that's corporate, um, my dad, for example, he's always getting more and more certificates of whatever it is in like IT so he can continue to get different positions um, within um, his company. So think of that type of stuff, the way you can move up the ladder and then start making that big money. I wanna see everybody win out here. 100% I wanna see everybody win. And these people in LA, bro, they can't drive. And I know I'm over here filming and driving, but man, these folks is a different type of, I don't know how to merge, I don't know how to break, nothing. But yeah, um, I'll see y'all at the tattoo shop. Boy, today I'm late. I'm the last person here. Actually, you know, it's been rotating at this point. It just rotates. So know? what was, he was late the first time. The very first time. You was late. late the second time. Yep. I'm late the third time. Uh, Silas know. just didn't show up. <laughs> so, and that is what it is. Our but fourth band of brother, just MIA. We over here at the little tattoo studio. And uh, I guess we'll go through what we're gonna get. Y'all got, what you getting? Man. The way, okay, the way I get tattoos, I have too many tattoos. I'm gonna take my sweater off and you'll be able to see all my tattoos. Right. I just come and get tattoos sporadically. This is the last one I got. Off That's of fire. And uh, I don't know, I might get my face tatted. I might get my wow. hand tatted, who knows? You know, these two had a, I got a lot of this man here. right here had to figure out how to, Tell, you, you, you tell figure out what? How you how you figure out your tattoo with your whole? Oh, I told him. Yeah, that whole this whole. AI. I walked him through like well, first of all, I used AI, but I didn't settle on AI. <laughs> I took them through the process of how I figured out my tattoo, uh, but he hating anyways. I'm not. On, hating. on to this man over here. What you getting? I got two ideas. I'm gonna get like a sewing needle right here, or I might get my son's name just right on my hand. Oh, look, something simple, easy. You know, I, I watch out through my process and what I'm gonna be getting. Now I'm gonna I'm show them. Actually, let's see. I'm gonna show them and walk them through what I'm gonna do. All right. My bad, bro. Taking up his real estate. No, you're good, you're good, man. You gotta <laughs> oh, introduce man. him, though. I am, hold on. Man, you wanna hop on camera? You're not camera shy, right? Here you go. So, you want me to zoom in? Hold on. You gotta introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm Christian De La Cruz, uh, a tattoo artist. <laughs> <laughs> and that's all, and that's folks. That's it, man. That's a wrap. <laughs> all right, so look, this is this is what I came up with. So I did use the little AI stuff, but this I didn't even AI settle on none of that. He AI generated his tattoo idea. No, I didn't. I <laughs> thought this is a thought process. Like I already showed y'all. Anyways, <laughs> this is what I generated on AI, yeah. just as an idea. But that's not what I'm gonna go with because I ended up looking at, okay, so my daughter's name is Leia. Yeah. And it means heavenly flower. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to incorporate her name with some type of flower, which is why you see what was on there. But I saw this, which is really dope. And I wanted to incorporate her name basically just like that. So at first I wanted to do like a letter mm -hmm. that had the flowers incorporated in it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like it would be a little bit off if that was just like that and then the rest of the text was something else or some type of font. So, I mean, you're the artist. I can give you kind of that feedback. But from what I settled on, I wanted to go with that and then just the rose on the top of it. And then placement, I wanted to do right here. Okay. Yeah. You're going that big? That's a, that's a, that. Where? No, it doesn't have to be this big. No, no but you yeah. did, you oh, did yeah. this man said right here. Bro, I was just going like this, bro. Everything just is like, <laughs> for size reference, this is huge. I think this is someone's arm or leg, but yeah, that was my thought process. But yeah, yeah, they, yeah, they kind of assisted. I like it. But I did like the idea of the letter with that incorporated in it, but it, I feel like it would throw it off. Yeah. If you did that and then there's some other type of like font. I think that's very pure though. Yeah. It's cool. So as much as I'm giving him smoke, at the end of the day, it's a very pure tattoo. Very meaningful. I mean, these oh, two are getting name. their, uh, they're freaking children tatted on them. Me? Hey, I might get a, I might I get a song. I don't know. We'll see. I might get a song either. Who knows what we'll get today? Because Christian just randomly tattoos me all the time. Maybe I'll get a face tat. You know. <laughs> that man is tats. not finna get a face, face tat, tat at all. Hey. hey, hey. Justin, you get a face yeah, tat? I'll get a face tat. Yeah, right. You've been talking about that. All right, but yeah, I'll, I'll check in with some more updates. So we're doing a little watch check right here. We got the Cartier tank right there. And then what you got on? Santos? I got a Santos, but it's Santos a- Santos two-tone. It's a chronograph, and it's a throwback. Is that yellow gold? Yes, it is. There it is, Definitely. boom. And then over here, which one is this? This is the Tank Devon. Tank Devon. And you already saw I got the root beer GNT on. So leave a comment on which watch that y'all like best. I didn't get the memo, clearly. 
Nobody informed me that we was going Cartier today. Or I would have pulled out the Santos that ain't got no fucking wear in about six months. The guy that has the guy that has about like Six watches. six watches. I think six. Yeah, I need seven. One day for every, one for every day of the week. And he wears one, same I mean, one every day. Hey, you gotta have your favorites. I mean, who has a favorite? Yeah, this is the best <laughs> one. I wore my no. I wore my uh, day just the other day in my vlog. I put it on. I literally said, "Watch some slight boom." That was some, it. Some I literally just. He didn't even watch the vlog, so that's how you know he didn't watch the vlog. He didn't watch the vlog. See. No, I Wow, I said fit check. I'm wearing the shadows and then I'm wearing the day just right here with a black hoodie, keeping it simple because it's raining outside. He said, he don't even watch the vlogs. I watch the vlog for the for the context. You know, hey. give yourself grace. Hey. Exactly. All I'm saying is I showed off the watch on that. But I'm gonna put on my Cartier sometime this week. I'll probably put it on on my day off tomorrow. It's a day off watch. Okay. It's not really a worker watch. Day off watch. Day off watch. Put a nice little white t-shirt on. Oh, something well, simple, something plain. You should have a, a drive my car watch. <laughs> <laughs> drive my car watch. All right, so we decided to go with this. And we got the little, it's old English, right? Yeah, old English. Old English L at the end of it. And that's why you let the artist do what he does. And he said we'll have like a little white highlight there. It'll probably pop like a little jewelry. But yeah, we're gonna go with this. So. Started with an idea and we transformed into this. So I'll let y'all know what it looks like whenever we're done. I don't know, but I, yeah, that, you know what Supreme I'm talking about? Yeah. Justin's he, getting a he's on sewing that street. needle right there with the little threads going up his arm. Or, sorry. So you got a little another angle. I think a lot of hand touches in that joke. Really? It's not like, it's not part of it. <laughs> Like let's get an interview. So, so tell us, tell us on a scale of one to ten, what are your feelings? That shit doesn't look like it hurts. Yeah, I gotta put your leg in. What do you mean? That honestly does not look like it hurts. You said it hurts. Hand tattoos? What? I got hand tattoos. Bro, but I'm saying like in this meat area right here. Bro, bro, you're not even where I'm at. I'm like there. We're not trying to negate your feelings at all, but they trying to call me out. Man, say. Do y'all think that that tattoo hurt? If you're a person that gets tattooed, he has tattoos. He's a red tat. Nah, this joint was a uh, this joint killed me, bro. I understand. That was a That's, nine out of ten. My man, my man watched like a. Uh, that was a nine out of like, ten. Like, he for like real. I'll show y'all the end result in a second. It's okay. We got the same tattoo. Mr. Tatted up right here. Yeah, man. Man, just be getting tattoos over yeah, tattoos over tattoos. You can't even see what his tattoos are. Yeah, yeah man. You got yeah. the most for sure. That's a lot. And his legs. Definitely. Oh, yeah, this oh, yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, felt like a subway in Harlem, bro. Oh, my God. <laughs> Man, look at that leg. That looks fire, bro. That looks like, like a leg. This right here, it's like I'll that. tell you, this right here made me cry all the time. Looks this. like he goes to gyms with Russ. All right, down there. That goes all the way up to your ass? No, right here. That's fire. You know how they finish that, right? Yep. All right, my boy with the finished product right here. He sat through the pain. <laughs> you know, it was just crazy <laughs> pain. See the little, little line to go up. It looks good. That's no, his first hand tap. It really didn't hurt that bad. I was I was yeah, being dramatic. I was being dramatic. I was being dramatic. All right, well I'm up next, so I'll give you guys a look at that. I know it's about to go down. Like what you were thinking? Uh, as yeah, far as the. This is like really tough, bro. Yeah. I know. I literally got people. Damn. Damn. I don't know if I need to get it right here or right here. That's gonna be like it's gonna stand out, bam. That's like gonna stand face. out for sure. But if you go back to the other one, it gives you so much more, more room um, yeah, to position. do something because you do want to get. Do you want to get yeah. your head blasted? I probably will get more. So like, yeah, we'll do this head. Yeah, I mean, cause it'll creep down to the neck with a little bit of the L, anyways. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we're gonna go with this. We're gonna run it. I'm gonna run it up. And Jeremiah's gonna tattoo him. Interested in how this is gonna <laughs> feel like on that little like bone. No, he's not tatting shit. I am. <laughs> No. That was the whole deal. That's crazy. All that shit he been talking. It's actually. Yeah. Super I had the hair down too, so I could put my hair back up and we, we get to work. We can get to work now. No. Let me get the gloves. Uh, Christian, you got the gloves? Yeah. Yeah, the boxing gloves for me to whoop your ass. <laughs> the whoop your ass gloves. <laughs> Just, just super strong. Or is it strictly 
Yeah, that looks good. Let me take a picture. Too bad at all. This is crazy. I wonder how much money they just spent on After Effects. Yeah, he said he went back to his, uh... Where he grew up, where he yeah. grew up at. He went to the window. Oh my god. What was this? Really? You were in an accident? Yeah. Shit, bro. <laughs> Bro, that's crazy. You ever get an accident? I got this $250,000 check. Oh my Why god. Uh, a 3GS. 3GS is crazy. Man, I got a 3GS. Oh yeah. And if you hate me, your mama's a hoe. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna get tatted Friday. Unfortunately, I had to introduce these two guys. Him, you said unfortunately, guy, like we didn't come out no, with no, no, no. The guy holding the camera, he had like 13 ideas. I had two. No, 13. I had, had two ideas. ideas. First and foremost, oh, let me see this. First and foremost, he had 13 ideas. The first idea is he wanted to get his son's name tatted. That's one. The second idea is he, wanted, idea, he wanted to get a tire or something like what that. Is he talking and then the about? third idea, he wanted to get a motorcycle. He did have dreads. Then fourth, I told fifth, him he, had, he had probably five or five variations of a motorcycle. Then he was talking about this whole idea. Hold on now, why are you taking? He's a liar. I forgot he did his Amber Rose. Nothing but a liar. Liar, liar. Liar, liar, pants on fire. My pants are fire because they vet Mont. That's why well, they fire. You see the tag. Vet Mont. They on fire. Yeah, for sure. John Elliott. Well, bought on a Amazon. That concludes the vlog. And uh, <laughs> see you guys in the next one. Peace.